When you delve into Whoopi Goldberg's comments about Joe Biden, his leadership qualities, loyalty, and how he's perceived by the public, you can see a complex picture emerge. And I, I'm just going to add my two cents because I wasn't here on the day that y'all talked about it. I don't care if he's pooped his pants. I don't care if he can't put a sentence together. Show me he can't do the job. And then I'll say, OK, maybe it's time to go. Now, he had a bad night the first time that he went out and deba debated with um, Kamala Harris. And everybody wanted him to quit that and say, you can't talk to women like this. Are you doing this wrong? You're doing that wrong. He came back, said, you know what? I got it and gave four years. So, yeah, I have poopy days all the time. <laughs> all the I step in so much poo you can't even imagine. <laughs> now, I'm not running the world. but. I don't know anybody who doesn't step in stuff at some point. So I'm just simply saying yeah, there are two debates. And if he can't do what he needs to do for the second debate, I'll join any crew that says get rid of him. But loyalty to me, if you are doing the job, I might not like everything you're doing. I don't like it all. But I'm going to stand behind you like those guys stand behind the guy who should have been the person people were talking about saying, yeah, Biden had a bad day, but this guy couldn't tell the truth if it split his lip. But nobody said that. But I'm, I, Anna said that, I believe, or something. She, she's not quite as colorful as I am. But the question now Give me is, a chance. I'm gonna, <laughs> the question now is because lots of Democrats are coming out saying, you know, oh, find somebody else. But when we try to do that with D.T., that's my new way of just describing it. When we said, listen, he shouldn't be on the ballot. Everybody said, no, no, no. He was, the people chose him. We can't take him off the ballot. Well, I don't understand why anybody thinks it's going to be any easier to take Biden off the ballot. There are real worries about Joe Biden's cognitive abilities and how they might impact his leadership. The president himself would likely agree that competence is crucial. While Whoopi Goldberg might dismiss Biden's occasional slip-ups, many see this as ignoring significant concerns about his fitness for office. Topics like authenticity, personal responsibility, and the very essence of leadership come into play. Goldberg's defense of Biden can be seen as a show of loyalty and a desire to support the leader despite his flaws. However, this loyalty could be criticized for overlooking critical issues that affect a leader's capacity to govern effectively. Facing harsh truths and making decisions based on an honest evaluation of one's capabilities is vital. Goldberg's remarks influence the collective mindset of the public. Biden's dismissal of his cognitive lapses impacts public trust and confidence in his leadership. These comments shape voter behavior, especially among those who prioritize a leader's capability and mental health. Public reactions to Goldberg's statements and their effect on political conversations are noteworthy. Unwavering loyalty can evoke empathy across different societal segments, even amid potential cognitive decline. However, this can also deepen political divides and affect the effectiveness of rhetoric in maintaining public support. The discussion around leadership competence and loyalty is significant. Balancing loyalty with the need for effective governance is a delicate act in political leadership. This balance heavily influences public perception of a leader's authenticity and ability to perform their duties.